Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial, a frame on CodePen. So uh, this time we're going to talk about skyboxes. So what are skyboxes? Um, if you come back to the A-Frame website, you will see that a skybox is basically a 360 image that you add to the background of your scene. Um, so it's, it's a large sphere with a color or texture map to the inside. So if we come back to our scene, we can see that we have um, the camera, the position, and the sphere that's our earth that we used for a previous example uh, with the texture that we brought for the earth. So uh, to add a skybox in a very simple way, just do a sky and then we're going to say source. And I've already had some images here. So for example, I just copy and paste this image here on my source. And let's close that up, up, up like that, a sky. And there you have your skybox, as you can see on the screen, up, 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 and the earth just in the middle of it. Okay, so that is a very easy way to add the image as a background, but it is actually not the correct way. So if we both go back to the A-Frame website, uh, we can see that what we did uh, resembled the plain color as a background line of code, which is very simple, you just copy and paste. Um, when you're using an acute rectangular image as a background, and that's the type of image that you want as your skybox, you need to add uh, the assets. So basically, uh, we're just going to copy this. So the assets are just basically the resources that we're going to add to our scene. And in this case, the source here is the URL of, uh, of the image that we want to use. So copying that, we're going to come back to our scene. And first of all, we're going to get rid of the skybox that we had previously used. Um, and just there, right under camera, we're going to copy our assets and then bring uh, the sky down um, just underneath our sphere so we need to go look for the source the url and i had this echo rectangular image that i wanted to use so you can see it on the screen you just copy the url and like before you will paste it inside the assets um, on the source and you've identified it as a sky which you are going to call back here and you can see there yay that it has appeared on our screen. You can also see that there's kind of like a um, very ugly angle. If you're looking at it from here. So uh, you can actually modify that and it's very simple. Uh, coming down to our sky, we can add a rotation for our skybox on the X axis and on the Y axis, let's do it minus 90. So the rotation, uh, you will modify the sides of your skybox depending on what you want to see or where you wanted to see it from. So coming back to where the ugly angle was, there you go. Um, it's no longer there and you can see the beautiful stars with the earth just in the middle and the skybox surrounding it. And that is perfect. So, um, what should we do now? Um, we can actually take a look at it on our phone. Okay, so now we have a different perspective. We're going to change the view so it's really easy. We're just going to go from the editor view that you see on the screen to a live view. And this would open uh, a whole new tab in your browser. You can check it out there and you have everything that's around uh, the earth and the skybox that we've added. And then we're going to take our phone, it's just like that, and we're going to copy the same URL and you can see it on your phone. You have a, yeah, let's go a little bit full screen and you can play around it. And let's say, for example, if we return to the editor mode, that we want to modify things that we can see directly in the live view. So we want to modify the radius to, instead of two, let's make it a one. There you go, it grows smaller and it's also smaller on my phone. 
Okay, so going back into our editor mode, you can see I've added a very groovy animation of the earth kind of pumping like that. Uh, still we have our skybox. So uh, animation is pretty cool because you can also see it in the live view and in real time. So to add the animation, you can see there it's um, on, a, on our sphere. Uh, you can go back to the website and you have everything you need there, the attributes that you're going to use. Uh, I've added direction and the easing and also the repeat. Uh, if you guys are curious, I previously did um, an animation video. Uh, you can check that out. So the animation we're going to do is a scale animation. Uh, the duration we can modify, for example, 10,000 and... <laughs> well, it's having a little trouble loading, but... There you go, it will go slower, so the sphere will move slower, as you see on our screen. 5,000, uh, it will be a little faster than 10,000, but still slower. If we leave it at 1,000, you have that pumping animation, which is pretty nice. From and to, the, those are the position of the X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, you have alternate reverse as direction, and the curve uh, you can see in Twin.js. Um, and the get up there, it's the curves of the animation, the, the easing that we're using. I'm using this particular one, the circular in out. So coming back there, you have easing, uh, ease in out circ, which is circular. So coming back into our different perspective, uh, we're going to change the view from editor to live mode. Uh, we're going to make it full screen, and there you have your pumping heart earth guys uh, and as we did before we're going to copy the URL in our phones uh, loading loading and there you go you have the same thing on your browser screen and on your mobile browser and that's all guys uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye